When a man is guided by the principles of reciprocity and consciousness, he is not far from the moral law. Whatever you don't wish for yourself, don't do unto others. If you yourself desire establishment, then help others to gain establishment. If you yourself want success, then help others to attain success. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is called a mistake. Do not worry about not holding high position, worry rather about playing your proper role. Worry not that no one knows of you, seek to be worth knowing. A lack of patience in trifling matters might lead to the disruption of great project. Don't complain about the snow on your neighbor's roof when your own doorstep is unclean. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. The master said, if out of the 300 songs I had to take one phrase to cover all my teachings, I would say let there be no evil in your thoughts. Teachers open the door. You enter by yourself. You judge yourself by what you think you can achieve. Others judge you by what have achieved. A man who does not think and plan long ahead will find trouble right at his door. In antiquity men studied for their own sake. Nowadays men study for the sake of impressing others. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Do not use a cannon to kill a mosquito. A ruthless man extends his ruthlessness from those he does not love to those he loves. The superior man is intelligently, not blindly, faithful. Study the past if you want to define the future. Unify your attention. Do not listen with your ears, but with your mind. Do not listen with your mind, but with your essence. Rather than caring about whether or not you are known, strive to be worth knowing. He who knows and knows that he knows is a wise man, follow him. He who knows not and knows not that he knows not is a fool, shun him. If a man takes no thought about what is distant, he will find sorrow near at hand. Don't let your past determine your destiny. A heart set on love will do no wrong. Study the past, if you would divine the future. Clever talk and domineering manner have little to it being a man at his best. Wisdom, humanity and courage, these three are universal virtues. The way by which they are practiced are one. There are three degrees of filial piety. The highest is being a credit to our parents, the second is not disgracing them, the lowest is being able simply to support them. Isn't it a pleasure to study and practice what you have learned? Love should start from people close to us, then be extended to other people, to strangers, and eventually to the world. The more people know, the more they forgive. Don't be concerned that you have no position. Be concerned how you may fit yourself to occupy one. Don't worry about being acknowledged by others. Worry about failing to acknowledge them. Plan ahead or find trouble on the doorstep. What you do not wish upon yourself, extend not to others. Give a man a fish, feed home for a day. 
teach a man to fish, feed for a lifetime. When you see a good man, try to emulate his example, and when you see a bad man, search yourself for his faults. The father who does not teach his son his duties is equally guilty with the son who neglects them. Give a bowl of rice to a man and you will feed him for a day. Teach him how to grow his own rice and you will save his life. A superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. The noble-minded are calm and steady. Little people are forever fussing and fretting. The people may be made to follow a path of action, but they may not be made to understand it. Study as if you have not reached your goal. Hold it as if you were afraid of losing what you have. A superior man is one who is free from fear and anxieties. Forget injuries, never forget kindnesses. In a hamlet of ten households, there are bound to be those who are my equal in doing their best for others and in being trustworthy in what they say, but they are unlikely to be as eager to learn as I am. To become a leader, you must first become a human being. There are three things against which the wise man guards, lust when young, quarrels when strong, and covetousness when old. Waste begets self-will, thrift begets meanness, but better be mean than self-willed. Learn as though you would never be able to master it, Hold it as though you would be in fear of losing it. Writing cannot express all words. Words cannot encompass all ideas. Don't worry that other people don't know you. Worry that you don't know other people. A true gentleman makes demands upon himself, but not upon others. Humankind differs from the animals only by a little and most people throw that away. The man of wisdom is never of two minds. The man of benevolence never worries. The man of courage is never afraid. The great mountain must collapse. The mighty beam must break and the wise man wither like a plant. Even if people do not know what real kindness is, they nonetheless have it within them. The person who is not strong enough gives up at the halfway point, but you are limiting yourself before even starting. The superior man is aware of righteousness, the inferior man is aware of advantage. There is nothing more visible than what is secret and nothing more manifest than what is minute. A man who has committed a mistake and does not correct it is committing another mistake. A man without a mustache is a man without a soul. You can successfully force people to follow a certain course, but you cannot force them to understand it. Knowledge is recognizing what you know and what you don't. Sincerity is the end and beginning of things. Without sincerity there would be nothing. If a man keeps cherishing his old knowledge so as continually to be acquiring new, he may be a teacher of others. When you locate good in yourself, approve of it with determination. When you locate evil in yourself, despise it as something detestable. Not to converse with a man worthy of conversation is to waste the man. To converse with a man not worthy of conversation is to waste words. The wise waste neither men nor words. 
To be fond of learning is near to wisdom. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? With a heavy load and a long journey, better than the one who knows what is right is the one who loves what is right. The most beautiful sight in the world is a little child going confidently down the road of life after you have shown him the way. Future generation is the most important thing. In a district of ten families, there must be someone as honorable and sincere as I, but none as fond of learning. Even in killing men, observe the rules of propriety. If you look into your own heart, and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? How should I know anything about another world when I know so little of this? A good man regards the root, he fixes the root, and ale else flows out of it. The root is filial piety, the fruit brotherly love. Transport a handful of earth every day and you will make a mountain. There is one word which may serve as a rule of practice for all one's life reciprocity. Women and people of low birth are very hard to deal with. If you are friendly to them, they get out of hand, and if you keep your distance, they resent it. If a man in the morning hear the right way, he may die in the evening without regret. When strict with oneself, one rarely fails. Music produces a kind of pleasure which human nature cannot do without. If you shoot for the stars and hit the moon, it's okay. But you've got to shoot for something. A lot of people don't even shoot. It is better to play than do nothing. To practice five things under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. A hammer shatters glass, but it also forges steel. There are three things to beware of through life. When a man is young, let him beware of his appetites when he is middle-aged, of his passions, and when old, of covetousness, especially. He who is really kind, can never be unhappy. Balance is the perfect state of still water. Let that be our model. It remains quiet within and is not disturbed on the surface. The mirror reflects all objects without being sullied. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of 10 years, plant trees. If in terms of 100 years, teach the people. A gentleman can see a question from all sides without bias. The small man is biased and can see a question only from one side. Men of principle are sure to be bold, but those who are bold may not always be men of principle. Men do not stumble over mountains, but over mole hills. I used to listen to what others said, and expect them to act accordingly. But nowadays, I listen to what they say, and then observe what they do. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. Do unto others as you wish others do unto you. 
there is nothing impossible in all the world except that the heart of man is wanting in resolution. The general of a large army may be defeated, but you cannot defeat the determined mind of a peasant. Justice for all in the world. You will never know how sharp a sword is unless it's drawn from its sheath. If you would one day renovate yourself, do so from day to day. The man who loves his job never works a day in his life. If you don't know how to live, why wonder about death? We take greater pains to persuade others that we are happy than in endeavoring to think so ourselves. Learning without thought is labor lost, thought without learning is perilous. The gentleman desires to be halting in speech but quick in action. The superior man limits his achievements. When a man feels the difficulty of doing, can he be other than cautious and slow in speaking? True knowledge is when one knows the limitations of one's knowledge. Reviewing what you have learned and learning anew, you are fit to be a teacher. There are cases in which the blade springs, but the plant does not go on to flower. There are cases where it flowers, but no fruit is subsequently produced. Virtue is not solitary, it is bound to have neighbors. Coarse rice to eat, water to drink, my bended arm for a pillow, therein is happiness. Wealth and rank attained through moral means are nothing but drifting clouds. Base yourself in loyalty and trust. Don't be companion with those who are not your moral equal. When you make a mistake, don't hesitate to correct it. The superior man is firm in the right way and not merely firm. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. When you breathe, you inspire, and when you do not breathe, you expire. Your eyes are always bigger than your stomach. An image is better than 1,000 words. Care not for one of place, care for thy readiness to fill one. Care not for being unknown, but seek to be worthy of note. Knowledge is merely brilliance and organization of ideas and not wisdom. The truly wise person goes beyond knowledge. He who take cookie to bed have crummy night ahead. Gentlemen cherish worth, the vulgar cherish dirt. Gentlemen trust in justice, the vulgar trust in favor. Look at the means which a man employs, consider his motives, observe his pleasures. A man simply cannot conceal himself. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Don't do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. The ideal teacher guides his students but does not pull them along. He urges them to go forward and does not suppress them. He opens the way but does not take them to the place. Respect yourself and others will respect you. Be versed in ancient lore and familiarize yourself with the modern. Then may you become teachers. The superior man is quiet and calm waiting for the appointments of heaven, while the mean man walks in dangerous paths, looking for lucky occurrences. To govern is to correct. 
If you set an example by being correct, who would dare to remain incorrect? The more you know yourself, the more you forgive yourself. Instead of being concerned that you have no office, be concerned to think how you may fit yourself for office. Instead of being concerned that you are not known, seek to be worthy of being known. What the superior man seeks is in himself, what the small man seeks is in others. There are three marks of a superior man, being virtuous, he is free from anxiety, being wise, he is free from perplexity, being brave, he is free from fear. To know everything is to know nothing, but to know nothing is to know everything. With coarse rice to eat, with water to drink, and my bent arm for a pillow, I have still joy in the midst of all these things. Time flows away like the water in the river. There has never been a man mean and at the same time virtuous. See a person's means. Observe his motives. Examine that in which he rests. How can a person conceal his character? Signs and symbols rule the world, not words nor laws. The young should be dutiful at home, modest abroad, careful and true, overflowing in kindness for all, but in brotherhood with love. And if they have strength to spare, they should spend it on the arts. Don't worry if people don't recognize your merits. Worry that you may not recognize theirs. Man who stand on hill with mouth open will wait long time for roast duck to drop in. The chase of gain is rich in hate. Excess and deficiency are equally at fault. Those who know the truth are not equal to those who love it. Big head, target for enemy. Big heart, target for friend. Heaven means to be one with God. If you want to change the world, first change your heart. The superior man is easy to serve, but difficult to please. The inferior man is difficult to serve, but easy to please. Study without reflection is a waste of time. Reflection without study is dangerous. First, there must be order and harmony within your own mind. The sun and moon shine on all without partiality. The great man is sparing in words, but prodigal in deeds. He with whom neither slander that gradually soaks into the mind, nor statements that startle like a wound in the flesh, are successful may be called intelligent indeed. There are not the weeds the ones that draw the good seed, but the negligence of the peasant. It is more shameful to distrust our friends than to be deceived by them. Without that innate sense of human worth, a man cannot long endure adversity, nor can he long enjoy prosperity. There are those men who say to repay evil with kindness. But I say, how then are we to repay kindness? Repay kindness with kindness, but repay evil with justice. It is not possible for one to teach others who cannot teach his own family. To know and not do is to not yet know. Stars are holes in the sky from which the light of the infinite shines. The proper man understands equity, the small man profits. 
The demands that a great man makes are on himself, those of a petty man are upon others. Between friends, frequent reproofs make the friendship distant. The man of perfect virtue, wishing to be established himself, seeks also to establish others. Wishing to be enlarged himself, he seeks also to enlarge others. I'd rather die for speaking out, than to live and be silent. The perfecting of oneself is the fundamental base of all progress and all moral development. Without an acquaintance with the rules of propriety, it is impossible for the character to be established. The only people who cannot change are the most wise and the most stupid. To lead uninstructed people to war is to throw them away. Reading without thinking will confuse you, thinking without reading will place you in danger. Let a ruler base his government upon virtuous principles, and he will be like the pole star, which remains steadfast in its place, while all the host of stars turn towards it. The requisites of government are that there be sufficiency of food, sufficiency of military equipment, and the confidence of the people in their ruler. We should feel sorrow, but not sink under its oppression. The heart of a wise man should resemble a mirror, which reflects every object without being sullied by any. We should not be too familiar with the lower orders or with women. A bit of fragrance always clings to the hand that gives roses. If you are generous, you will gain everything. It is not the failure of others to appreciate your abilities that should trouble you, but rather your failure to appreciate theirs. You must find time for reading, or surrender yourself to self-chosen ignorance. To be truly happy and contented, you must let go of what it means to be happy or content. The contrived language and the flattering attitude rarely come with the virtue. Sincerity is the way of heaven. He who merely knows right principles is not equal to him who loves them. There is one single thread binding my way together. The way of the master consists in doing one's best, that is all. Seek not every quality in one individual. The superior person gathers his weapons together in order to provide against the unforeseen. Shall I tell you what knowledge is? It is to know both what one knows and what one does not know. Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. A superior man in dealing with the world is not for anything or against anything. He follows righteousness as the standard. Read the task above the prize, will not the mind be raised? Fight thine own faults, not the faults of others, will not evil be mended? It is only the very wisest and the very stupidest who never change. Study as though you cannot catch up to it, and as though you fear you are going to lose it. The man who is master of himself drinks gravely and wisely. Virtuous people often revenge themselves for the constraints to which they submit by the boredom which they inspire. If you reflect within yourself and find nothing to be ashamed of, how could you have anxiety or fear? Reviewing the day's lessons. Isn't it joyful? 
Friends come from far. Isn't it delightful? One has never been angry at others' misunderstanding. Isn't he a respectable man? To know is to know that you know nothing. That is the meaning of true knowledge. An oppressive government is more to be feared than a tiger. Men shoot at nothing, sure to hit it. Everything has its beauty, but not everyone sees it. To see it a person only needs to imagine how it could be worse. Without knowing the force of words, it is impossible to know more. It is better not to proceed at all than to proceed without purpose. A common man marvels at uncommon things. A wise man marvels at the commonplace. We should feel sorrow, but not sink under its oppression. Good people strengthen themselves ceaselessly. They who know the truth are not equal to those who love it, and they who love it are not equal to those who delight in it. A man should practice what he preaches, but a man should also preach what he practices. Faithfulness and sincerity are the highest things. The superior man makes the difficulty to be overcome his first interest, success only comes later. Never do to others what you would not like them to do to you. To go beyond is as wrong as to fall short. If I cannot get men who steer a middle course to associate with, I would far rather have the impetuous and hasty. For the impetuous at any rate assert themselves. If I do not participate in a sacrifice, it is as if I did not sacrifice at all. The wise find pleasure in water, the virtuous find pleasure in hills. The wise are active, the virtuous are tranquil. The wise are joyful, the virtuous are long-lived. Faced with what is right, to leave it undone shows a lack of courage. The vices come as passengers, visit us as guests and stay as masters. What is most needed for learning is a humble mind. A superior man may be made to go to the well, but he cannot be made to go down into it. He may be imposed upon, but he cannot be fooled. You do not understand even life. How can you understand death? If you devote your life to seeking revenge, first dig two graves. When I walk along with two others, from at least one I will be able to learn. Watch their actions, observe their motives, examine wherein they dwell content, won't you know what kind of person they are? The superior man understands what is right, the inferior man understands what will sell. Return good for good, return evil with justice. Heaven sends down its good and evil symbols and wise men act accordingly. Of all that heaven produces and nourishes, there is none so great as man. The one who was born a genius can't win against the one who tries and the one who tries can't win against the one who enjoys. The superior man is satisfied and composed, the mean man is always full of distress. In a state, pecuniary gain is not to be considered to be prosperity, but its prosperity will be found in righteousness. Not to alter one's faults is to be faulty indeed. 
Let a man be stimulated by poetry, established by the rules of propriety, and perfected by music. He who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. Rotten wood cannot be carved. Clever talk can confound the workings of virtue, just as small impatiences can confound great projects. To study and not think is a waste. To think and not study is dangerous. Know what you know and know that you don't know what you don't know, that is the characteristic of one who knows. Never hesitate to ask a lesser person. Man who eat many prunes get good run for money. It is man that makes truth great, and not truth that makes man great. The person of benevolence never worries. Among the appliances to transform the people, sound and appearances are but trivial influences. The shortest distance between any two points on a golf course is a straight line that passes directly through the center of a very large tree. If one should desire to know whether a kingdom is well governed, if its morals are good or bad, the quality of its music will furnish the answer. If you lead the people with correctness, who will dare not be correct? For benefits return benefits, for injuries return justice without any admixture of revenge. It is the obligation of the ruler to continually renew himself in order to renew the people by his example. Consideration for others is the basis of a good life, a good society. The gentleman prefers to be slow in word but diligent in action. The superior man is slow in his words and earnest in his conduct. The superior man does what is proper to the station in which he is. He does not desire to go beyond this. He who remembers from day to day what he is yet to learn and from month to month what he has learned already, may be said to have a love of learning. Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. A man exercising no forethought will soon experience present sorrow. If one is guided by profit in one's actions, one will incur much ill will. He who requires much from himself and little from others, will keep himself from being the object of resentment. The cautious seldom error. Look closely into his aims, observe the means by which he pursues them, discover what brings him content and can a man's real worth remain hidden from you? Who heeds not the future will find sorrow at hand. It is goodness that gives to a neighborhood its beauty. One who is free to choose, yet does not prefer to dwell among the good, how can he be accorded the name of wise? I have not seen a person who loved virtue, or one who hated what was not virtuous. He who loved virtue would esteem nothing above it. Character is the backbone of our human culture. Music is the flowering of character. A youth is to be regarded with respect. The green reed which bends in the wind is stronger than the mighty oak which breaks in a storm. Learn, as if never overtaking your object, and yet as if apprehensive of losing it. A fool marvels at rare things, but a wise man at common ones. The funniest people are the saddest ones. 
When you see a good person, think of becoming like her slash him. When you see someone not so good, reflect on your own weak points. I do not want a friend who smiles when I smile, who weeps when I weep, for my shadow in the pool can do better than that. To err and not reform, this may indeed be called error. To be fond of learning is near to wisdom, to practice with vigor is near to benevolence, and to be conscious of shame is near to fortitude. Make faithfulness and truth thy masters, have no friends unlike thyself, be not ashamed to mend thy faults. Fine words and an insinuating appearance are seldom associated with true virtue. Learn as if you were not reaching your goal and as though you were scared of missing it. A truly great man never puts away the simplicity of a child. Man is born for uprightness. If a man loses uprightness and yet live, his escape from death is mere good fortune. I used to take untrust a man's deeds after having listened to his words. Now having listened to a man's words, I go on to observe his deeds. Not to mend one's ways when one has erred is to err indeed. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home. The journey with the 1,000 miles begins with one step. Those who are firm, enduring, simple and unpretentious are the nearest to virtue. Ignorance is the night of the mind, but a night without moon or star. Learning, undigested by thought, is labor lost. The scholar does not consider gold and jade to be precious treasures, but loyalty and good faith. Ask yourself constantly, what is the right thing to do? Behave toward everyone as if receiving a great guest. True goodness springs from a man's own heart. All men are born good. Gravity is only the bark of wisdom's tree, but it preserves it. Words are the voice of the heart. Hold faithfulness and sincerity as first principles. To prefer it is better than to only know it. To delight in it is better than merely to prefer it. Only after winter comes do we know that the pine and the cypress are the last to fade. A gentleman would be ashamed should his deeds not match his words. He who crosses the ocean twice without washing is a dirty double-crosser. I want you to be everything that's you, deep at the center of your being. If you don't want to do something, don't impose on others. A man may not transgress the bounds of major morals, but may make errors in minor morals. Men's natures are alike, it is their habits that separate them. Confucius say, politician is one who shakes your hand before elections and your confidence after. What the great learning teaches is to illustrate illustrious virtue, to renovate the people and to rest in the highest excellence. If your desire is for good, the people will be good. Music is the one thing in which there is no use trying to deceive others or make false pretenses. The gentleman is calm and at ease. The gentleman is dignified but not proud. The small man is proud but not dignified. I live in a very small house, 
but my windows look out on a very large world. Virtue is not left to stand alone. He who practices it will have neighbors. A gentleman does not promote a man on account of what he says, nor does he reject sayings, because the speaker is what he is. A gentleman is ashamed to let his words outrun his deeds. Respect the gods and the devils, but keep them at a distance. The superior man, when resting in safety, does not forget that danger may come. Have no friends not equal to yourself. He who sling mud, lose ground. Excessive population. Growth may reduce output per worker, repress levels of living for the masses, and engender strife. The people may be put into the way they should go, though they may not be put into the way of understanding it. The wise man admires water, the kind man admires mountains. The wise man moves, the kind man rests. The wise man is happy, the kind man is firm. It doesn't make a difference how gradually you go so long as you don't stop. The superior man is distressed by the limitations of his ability. He is not distressed by the fact that men do not recognize the ability that he has. He is the truly courageous man who never desponds. If you don't know how to serve men, why worry about serving the gods? They must often change, who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. To think twice is quite enough. When nature exceeds culture, we have the rustic. When culture exceeds nature, we have the pedant. If there were one word that could act as a standard of conduct for one's entire life, perhaps it would be thoughtfulness. All wisdom is rooted in learning to call things by the right name. When things are properly identified, they fall into natural categories and understanding becomes orderly. He who wished to secure the good of others has already secured his own. A man who reviews the old so as to find out the new is qualified to teach others. Make fair agreements and stick to them. A youth is to be regarded with respect. How do we know that his future will not be equal to our present? He who keeps danger in mind is he who will rest safe in his seat, he who keeps ruin in mind, is he who will preserve his interests secure. In vain I have looked for a single man capable of seeing his own faults and bringing the charge home against himself. If I give a student one-fourth of what he should know, I expect him to get the other three-fourths himself. Otherwise, I do not want him as a student. The superior man, extensively studying all learning, and keeping himself under the restraint of the rules of propriety, may thus likewise not overstep what is right. We should keep the dead before our eyes, and honor them as though still living. He who is harmony with nature hits the mark without effort and apprehends the truth without thinking. What the wise seek is in themselves. In teaching there should be no distinction of classes. If I understand change, I shall make no great mistake in life. In language clarity is everything. Settle one difficulty, and you keep a hundred away.
so may study side by side, and yet be asunder when they come to the logic of things. To be poor without murmuring is difficult. To be rich without being proud is easy. To understand yourself is the key to wisdom. It cannot be when the root is neglected that what springs from it will be well ordered. Those whose courses are different cannot lay plans for one another. Think no vice so small that you may commit it, and no virtue so small that you may overlook it. Justice is like the North Star, which is fixed, and all the rest revolve about it. I will not be concerned at other men's not knowing me, I will be concerned at my own want of ability. Respect the gods, but have as little to do with them as possible. To find the Tao, there is nowhere you need to search. If it is not inside you, it is not the Tao. The superior man governs men according to their nature, with what is proper to them, and as soon as they change what is wrong, he stops. It is better to light one small candle of gratitude than to curse the darkness. When music and courtesy are better understood and appreciated, there will be no war. Wisdom delights in water, love delights in hills. Wisdom is stirring, love is quiet. Wisdom is merry, love grows old. When superiors are fond of showing their humanity, inferiors try to outstrip one another in their practice of it. Just as lavishness leads easily to presumption, so does frugality to meanness. But meanness is a far less serious fault than presumption. When prosperity comes, do not use all of it. When one cultivates to the utmost the principles of his nature, and exercises them on the principle of reciprocity, he is not far from the path. Let the states of equilibrium and harmony exist in perfection and a happy order will prevail throughout heaven and earth, and all things will be nourished and flourish. Silence is the true friend that never betrays. A man living without conflicts, as if he never lives at all. Never give a sword to a man who can't dance. Every thoughtful pin on Pinterest has beauty, but not everyone can see. The injury of prodigality leads to this, that he who will not economize will have to agonize. Go before the people with your example and be laborious in their affairs. The love to wisdom is getting closer to the own bright path. He who will not economize will agonize. Although your father and mother are dead, if you propose to yourself any good work, only reflect how it will make their names illustrious, and your purpose will be fixed. When a man's knowledge is sufficient to attain, and his virtue is not sufficient to enable him to hold, whatever he may have gained, he will lose again. Fix your mind on truth, hold firm to virtue, rely on loving kindness, and find your recreation in the arts. The expectations of life depend upon diligence, the mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. Who contains himself goes seldom wrong. The firm, the enduring, the simple, and the modest are near to virtue. 
She who is born with beauty is born with a sorrow for many a man. Virtue is more to man than either water or fire. I have seen men die from treading on water and fire, but I have never seen a man die from treading the course of virtue. Only by perfect virtue can the perfect path, in all its courses, be made a fact. You turn the handle the way it goes, not the way it ought to go. Our headstrong passions shut the door of our souls against God. By nature, men are nearly alike. By practice, they get to be wide apart. To know it is not as good as to love it, and to love it is not as good as to take delight in it. An angry man is full of poison. The inner nature of man is the province of music. The highest kind of man is the one who does before talking and practices what he professes. I am not bothered by the fact that I am not understood. I am bothered when I do not know others. I transmit but do not create. I place my trust in the teachings of antiquity. There are three unfilial acts, the greatest of these is the failure to produce sons. Ah, music, sacred tongue of God. I hear thee calling and I come. Charity, like the sun, brightens every object on which it shines. Don't be concerned about others not appreciating you. Be concerned about your not appreciating others. When you are laboring for others, let it be with the same zeal as if it were for yourself. No lake so still but it has its wave. No circle so perfect but that it has its blur. I would change things for you if I could. As I can't you must take them as they are. Be aroused by poetry, structure yourself with propriety, refine yourself with music. The wheel of fortune turns round incessantly, and who can say to himself, I shall today be uppermost? Who keeps the old akindle and adds new knowledge is fitted to be a teacher. From the sun of heaven down to the mass of the people, all must consider the cultivation of the person the root of everything besides. A gentleman can withstand hardships, it is only the small man who, when submitted to them, is swept off his feet. A gentleman wishes to be slow to speak and quick to act. Knowing something is not as good as liking it. Liking something is not as good as rejoicing in it. Everyone calls his son his son, whether he has talents or has not talents. If my mind be not engaged in worship, it is as though I worshipped not. The determined scholar and the man of virtue will not seek to live at the expense of injuring their virtue. They will even sacrifice their lives to preserve their virtue complete. When you have become one with the great universal, you will have no partiality, and when you are part of the process of transformation, you will have no rigidity. Knowing what's correct and not doing it, it's the worst cowardice. Never tire to study and to teach to others. To be excellent when engaged in administration is to be like the North Star. As it remains in its one position, all the other stars surround it. A 
ability will never catch up with the demand for it. Benevolence is the characteristic element of humanity.